one is the immediate uh, view maintenance and the other is deferred and in deferred uh, it comes in three different uh, flavors uh, one is the lazy approach second is the periodic which is also called a snapshot approach and the third is event based so so let me um, so immediate and deferred so what this means is that immediate means say okay let me let me uh, so i have a metalized view which is nothing but uh, a join of the tables r and s right okay so r and s is uh, is uh, is joined and uh, the result is metalized in the form of a metalized view now immediate means so as and when there is a change in either end r or and s i'm going to update it update the metalized view immediately right so that is the immediate one so it is actually part of the update query so whatever update query i am i am issuing on r say i am saying insert uh, a tuple in r right so this materialized view is updated right as part of this query itself right so what happens is that the query itself which is updating is is delayed okay now the second is deferred so i do the updates to r or s or both but i don't worry immediately about updating the materialized view and this we can do in three different ways so i'll be discussing that so the problem statement is uh, is like this that you have materialized view and it is based on some uh, uh, base tables or the underlying base tables which is r and s in this case and uh, if r or s or both change how do we change the metalized view okay so a metalized view is said to be refreshed when it is made consistent with changes to its underlying tables okay to its underlying tables so often referred to as view maintenance so there are uh, two basic issues how do we refresh and when do we refresh so we will try to answer all these questions in the coming slides so the task of keeping a metalized view up to date with the underlying tables is known as metalized view maintenance or simply view maintenance metalized views can be maintained by recomputation on every update so one of the things that i can do is that i have this metalized view which is r join s so r changes so I, I drop this view and create the new metalized view but if suppose r and s are very large relations and i am just inserting one tuple in r and for that i am dropping the view and doing this join again so that would not be very not be a very good idea right so we we don't do that so <coughs> a better option is to incremental is to use incremental view maintenance right so what happens in incremental uh, um, view maintenance is that changes to database relations are used to compute changes to materialized view which is then updated at a later point of time okay so view maintenance can be done by uh, there are different strategies for doing this <coughs> uh, manually uh, defining triggers on insert delete and update of each relation in the view definition manually written code to update the view whenever database relations are updated or supportly directly by databases right so there are direct support so you don't have to so once you define a metalized view so they would have some default strategies to maintain uh, the metalized views as and when the the underlying tables are changed right so so it come it, it is actually done in two steps one is propagate so changes uh, compute changes to the view when data changes and then you apply those changes right so as i told you we are talking about two different policies for maintenance so it controls when we do so this is about how and this is about when so when so there are two options as i told you earlier also immediate and deferred so it is uh, part of the transaction that modifies the underlying base tables the positive point of this is that metalized view is always consistent with the underlying tables and uh, the negative point is that updates are slowed so you don't want updates to be slowed so you have to decide and the second one is deferred so it is done at a at a later time 
in a separate transaction. So the negative point is that the, the view may become inconsistent for some time till the time you uh, you actually carry out the updates on the on the metalized views or you refresh the metalized views. Plus uh, point is that can scale to maintain many views without slowing updates. So uh, if I have multiple views, so I can control the way or I I will have a very scalable kind of a solution when I have multiple views and at the same time I'm not slowing down my update queries right so this uh, this is a positive point of the deferred uh, deferred strategy for view maintenance and at the same time as I told you earlier also in a, in a data warehouse environment we are not too particular about consistency of data so that helps our cause now deferred maintenance so there is nothing much uh, to discuss in the in the immediate uh, one because uh, that you understand so that is part of the query that is updating the underlying tables and the view is metalized a view is updated accordingly as part of the transaction so three flavors so it comes uh, in three flavors lazy periodic and uh, and even paste so lazy is uh, like this so i have R and S, which I have joined. Okay, I'll write it like this. So this is a metalized view. R join S. Okay. So now changes are being made to R. Changes are being made to S. Right. So this is a deferred one. So I I am not changing this at all. So this metalized view is as it is. So now to explain this concept of lazy approach. So suppose. So this metalized view will not do anything, right? It will it will not worry about whether R or S or both have changed or not. Now suppose there is a query that comes to the metalized view. Now somebody is trying to query the metalized view. Now the metalized view would uh, wake up, right, and check, go and check with R and go and check with S whether any updates have been carried out. If there have been updates that are there, so it will try to update itself according to those changes, right? This is how it works. So what happens is this query has to wait till this metalized view goes and checks the underlying tables, right? So this delays the query. And if there are changes, those changes are to be, have to be propagated to uh, to the metalized view, right? So this is called as a lazy approach. So uh, now you understand why it is called lazy because I will not do the metalized view will not do anything uh, even when R and S are changing, right? So it will wake up only when there is a query. So this query will wake up this metalized view and say, uh, say that I want consistent data. Go and check with your underlying tables whether any updates have been uh, carried out or not, and then this query would would run after that so this is the lazy approach periodic so it is uh, like uh, refresh periodically so irrespective of whether there is a query on the metalized view or not every hour I would uh, go and uh, check the underlying tables and refresh so <coughs> and uh, so query query is possibly answered using outdated versions of view tuples widely used especially for asynchronous replication in distributed databases and for uh, warehouse applications, right? So this uh, this is a uh, this is useful in some situations, and then third is event based. So refresh after a fixed number of updates to the underlying table. So here I'm saying that if there is just one update to R and one update to S, I'll not worry. So I can uh, say that so suppose there are three underlying tables, three tables which create uh, which are used to define a metalized view. I can put a threshold saying that if there are more than five updates on each table, then only I would update okay, the metalized view. Or I can say if the total number of updates are exceeding 10, then only I will update the metalized view. So like this you can define events which would uh, trigger the update uh, process of the metalized view. So all these, th so these three deferred strategies have their own pluses and minuses, right? So, uh, so let me try to summarize this uh, in the 
next slide so before i come to this let me just summarize so lazy uh, <coughs> and then uh, periodic and then the third is even based so lazy uh, up, uh, current currency currency of data is always maintained periodic not necessarily event based not necessary okay are you getting this then response time is uh, it goes up which is not a good thing because your query has to wait till the metalize view is going and checking the uh, the uh, checking for updates periodic response times would not suffer so response times would actually go down because we are using metalized views and even based so the uh, delay in query actually not right uh, it's not good to write uh, response times delay in query delay <coughs> so delay would be there so i'll i'll just replace this by plus uh, this yes or no delay yes periodic so the probability of delay would be very small only when it will happen only when the updates are actually being uh, carried out so i can say no and even based also it is low so there will be no delay in the queries right but you may not get the the response time uh, you may not get the current data in uh, periodic and snapshot uh, in event based so this is what uh, are the three strategies so you can use any of them based on your requirements so i have discussed the pros and cons of all this right so let me now talk about so this would be discussed in the next uh, lecture uh, so recomputing the view when an underlying table is modified so this is a very straightforward approach but it is very expensive so not do so, not feasible to do so for all changes made so what we do is uh, we try to use what are called as incremental algorithms for refreshing a view right we use that so what are incremental algorithms basically so cost of refresh so suppose i inserted one tuple or 10 tuples in in a relation right r so the cost of uh, uh, updating the metalized view based on r right should be proportional to the size of the update or to the extent of the change right so so this concept i'll be discussing in the in the next uh, lecture that is incremental algorithms for view maintenance wherein uh, i'll be talking about uh, the major operations in relational algebra so it would be good if you are familiar with relational algebra in general so i'll be talking about joins and projections i'll be talking about selections i'll also be talking about aggregate operators so which are the three main uh, operators that are used or uh, used in data warehousing right aggregation and joins basically and also of course selection and projections so with this i wind up today's lecture and the next lecture would be on incremental algorithms for view maintenance thank you